Hello everyone, this is a short video about uh, making the front axle for the Toyota Land Cruiser or probably for most of my cars that have front wheel drive. Uh, what we need, all what we need is here. Uh, we have some tools, we have some printed parts, some bearings and a paper clip. This is the paper clip or the rest I found here. And first thing we need to do is to build the front axis. This is the most complicated part or most difficult part from the whole build. So once you are done with that, it's super easy to build. First thing, what I would recommend to do is to check if everything was perf uh, printed perfectly. There shouldn't be any movement. This should uh, rotate very smoothly without any, any ranges. Once you are done with the check, you can or you should drill the holes inside the axle. I'm using this drill bit. It's from AliExpress. It costs like a dollar or something. And I'm using 0.7 millimeter drill. So you need to drill the hole so it's going very smoothly in and out. And now you know that the pin will fit in. Uh, so now uh, let's add the gear. This gear should fit very tightly. And if not, then you can use super glue. Or I recommend the super glue even if you are sure that it's quite tight because there is some torque and uh, I already uh, destroyed one because it didn't fit so so tightly. So now add the bearings and once you are in this stage you can add the paper clips pins. What I'm doing always is to cut piece that is around well six to seven millimeter long. It can be a bit longer you can always short it out and once you cut the pin, I definitely recommend to grind the edges. So you take one. It's tiny, sorry, but uh, that's how how it have to be here. And grind the edges. This uh, make sure that there is no uh, edge or pointy edge that can destroy the the join. So one, you have the pin ready. Just take it into your hand, and I found that the easiest way is to push it there with the... Oh, sorry, I almost forget. Before you will push it there, use your tweaks and make some small cuts in the middle. Like this. And this will help to the pin to stay inside the hole, because it will kind of uh, screw itself into the, into the plastic. So the pin can be put there with the with the nail, or what I'm doing usually is to just press it against the table. But watch out! I already destroyed my table several times. This should fit very tightly. Uh, should move freely. I make this hole a bit larger so I can demonstrate. But this is the end result. I definitely recommend to also use super glue in this process. I'm not sure if this helps because it's a metal and a plastic, but I'm always using uh, the super glue there and I never had an issue that this pin fall out. Once you have it there, you can brush the side that's again to make it, um, you know, smooth. And of course uh, the length should be around six millimeters. I mean, if it's, if it's 6.5, if it's 6.2, if it's 6.1, it doesn't matter, it works. If it's too short, you will notice the car won't drive. If it's too long, again, you will notice the car won't drive because it gets stuck. So once we have this uh, front axis, you can congratulate, congratulate yourself because you are more or less 80% done with the car. So now what we need to do is to build the front axis itself. I'm using these front hubs and I think it's five times 8 times 2.5 millimeter bearings, which we need to put inside this uh, this holder. Uh, I'm using the uh, the screwdriver, and the bearing should fit very very tightly. It shouldn't fall out. It shouldn't wiggle. wiggle. It should be very very tight. So now uh, we need to insert. The CV joint, which also should go very tightly in there, like this, and should should uh, rotate freely. 
that's very very important once you are here uh, you want to put the front axle into the front axle holder sorry there's some strings like this then of course before you're closing the the cover of your motor I don't have wires here but wires should be taken through the hole that is prepared here and what I definitely recommend is to use some lubricant or some oil or some uh, whatever because there will be some friction and if you use a uh, faster motor it will get worse once you are here at this point you will close the cover of course you will use the screws I always using this uh, box from the Aliexpress again it's super cheap they have several uh, screw sizes and uh, if you buy this you can build more than I would say like five to, to seven cars from one box and it costs uh, close to nothing. At this point, uh, uh, what we will do or we will add is uh, I'm trying to figure out which side here. Yeah, sorry. So we will add the, the hubs. This is the front side of the car. So hubs should go in this way and should be facing the front. So I'm again gonna use this super screw box. Sorry, I used wrong screws. Screw down the front hub. And once you do it, you again need to check if If it's rotate without any, well, it can be friction. It should be wobbling because then it will affect the driving. But it should be fairly easy to to steer because any other or any additional uh, any additional force will uh, you know the server will struggle. Simply say. So you will do of course the second part. I'm not sure. I'll probably make it quicker in the video, but it should be quick one if I will find the screws uh, one thing be very careful if you mix these together it's hard to find the one size you need and of course I mix those together because uh, yeah why not so once you are here the re the last thing that needs to be added is the steering rack or steering whatever it is and what I'm doing here to make sure that this is easy to uh, rotate is that I'm over screwing the screw so it will create a bit bigger uh, hole and have to will help to make it super easy to turn. So now the last thing that I'll show you in the video is to screw the whole thing together like this. And you have the front axle ready and prepared. You can see that uh, it's quite simple. I mean the, the, the worst or the hardest part is the front axis. It will take some time when you before you make it perfect, but once you do it, then you know how 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 I how I meant to 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 build it. So that's it. What I will definitely try in this point is to connect um, uh, the motor to the ESC and start running it because it should run very smoothly. There shouldn't be any skipping, any issues, and you should always try to turn it to the maximum turning position and. Uh, Play with the gas to see if you build the front axle correctly. Uh, then, when you are done, the oh shoot, there's the wrong wheel. Uh, I think I have one here. Yeah, the front wheel should go to this, to the axle, and should be screwed by the one one screw here. And yeah, that's it. Hope this helps.